Well, hello and welcome to another Faith, Philosophy and Life. Me, Mr Shelton. It's good to see you and I do hope that you and your families are doing well. Um, last lesson, we looked, uh, started to look at abortion and when life began. And we've been thinking about some ethical issues surrounding um, sanctity of life and quality of life and things like that. And today's lesson is going to be um, another quite difficult one, potentially. Um, with regards to abortion and if there is anything that comes from this lesson that you feel you need to chat with someone then obviously please do contact your teacher because um, or and just turn this lesson off now because we don't want you to be in a position that you you feel quite uncomfortable with something that you see but don't worry there are no images or anything in this that, that are going to be that shocking so um, last time we talked about arguments for and against crucifix uh, abortion what i'd like you to do now is to have a think about that now and you see what arguments you can remember arguments that agreed that were uh, for abortion arguments that were against abortion sort of pro-life and pro-choice were the terms that we looked at last time so have a look at that and then come back to me um, when you've had a muse about some of those Okay, so now you've had a thought about arguments that are for and against, um, go grab your pen and paper so we can start to make some notes because here's our cheesy intro music. title today is what does the church teach about abortion what's the church teach about abortion primarily I'm going to be looking at the Catholic Church as I work in a Catholic school however um, I'm going to refer to other denominations as well as we go through because the church is divided on this one as the church is divided on many issues even though it's very similar on many issues as well so as always do pause me as we go and make any notes that you need to in your book and please send everything through to your teachers because Obviously, we do like to see what you've done. So our learning objective today is to further explore arguments for and against abortion. Um, and ordinarily, we'd be having debates in classrooms. So you may just need to do some debates on WhatsApp or Messenger or whatever uh, you young people are using these days. So it's going to be good if we can state a Christian response to abortion. Great if you can give arguments uh, from differing viewpoints. And even better if you can reach an evaluative judgment about whether you think abortion is ever acceptable um, so we're going to look at for arguments for and against we've got a worksheet we're going to look at catholic catechism you're going to do a grid and then an evaluative um, reflection at the end as well um, okay so let's just get started with this i'd like you to uh, access the description below in the description you're below you'll find a worksheet that looks something like that um, there are some questions on that all the information is on is on the sheet in front of you uh, give yourself 15 20 minutes to do that and then come back to me Okay, so um, I want to just spend a, a moment just looking at what the Catholic Church teaches. Now, you, you're in a no obligation to make any notes of any of this, but you may particularly want to. Um, but this is really primarily to, to help prepare you for GCSE as well, if you're doing GCSE RS. And if you're not, well, here's a bit of information for you anyway. 
So the Catholic Church has something called a catechism, a doctrinal statement, which is put together uh, by the bigwigs of the church called the magisterium. And it states that human life must be respected and protected absolutely from the moment of conception. So when we had our debates a couple of lessons back about when does life begin, well, the Catholic Church says it begins at the point of conception when the sperm and the egg meet. Catholics believe in the sanctity of human life for three main reasons. For the origin of life, life is a gift from God. The dignity of life, that humans are made in an image of God, so have immortal souls. And they have a destiny, they have a goal, a purpose, which is to have eternal joy with God in heaven. And therefore, that those three things primarily affect the way that the Catholic Church approaches the issue of abortion. So therefore the Roman Catholic Church states that abortion is murder because life is a gift from God. It says that life is sacred and therefore God is the one who gives life and therefore God is the only one who can take life. And um, They say the baby is not potential human life but a human life with potential. Let's put an interesting twist on it because it's saying that a baby isn't a potential human. They are in fact a human that has a potential life. The popes declared, a number of popes have declared this is, that Catholics should not have abortions in any circumstances uh, because every pregnancy is planned by God. That's why it happens. And the pope begins that life begins at the uh, moment of conception, which is what we've talked about already. However, the principle of double effect can kick in, and that's important for where we may go later in this lesson. Uh, that's the idea that you, the primary uh, thing in, in, in the world is God to be the life of the mother. And... The secondary effect, even though it's not intended, may lend the life of the unborn fetus, the unborn child. So, for example, if the mother is needing chemotherapy um, for treatment of cancer because if she didn't have it, then uh, the mother would die. Then on that occasion, uh, if that leads to the death of the child in the womb, then that would be, however sad, acceptable within the Catholic Church's eyes. So the principle of double effect is that you're not going out to end the life of the baby inside the, the fetus. Uh, what you are doing is you're going uh, out your way to protect the life of the mother. So there's just some information about what the Catholic Church teaches. Um, so you've also got from that sheet what the Church of England teach as well. So when we come to our objectives, um, we do know a couple of different Christian responses to abortion, which we kind of were at anyway last time, but you've got a bit more depth. And now we need to start to think about the, these different viewpoints. So again, in the description below, you'll find a grid that looks something like that. Now this grid has got on it um, quite a series of questions. The idea is that you work through them and ideally you do this on FaceTime or with somebody else uh, if you've got other people off at the same time and you work through those grids. Um, I've got some Bible quotes there that may help you. They don't all apply to abortion but some of them uh, definitely do. So work through them one question at a time. You don't need to write anything down unless uh, your teachers request you to. Um, and uh, But I want you to have that discussion with other people as well and, and just see which ones of these do you have opinions on, which ones of these have you do you know the answers to. Hopefully they won't take that long for some of you. So pause me now and then come back to me when you're done. Okay, so this is sort of our uh, majorly large finishy kind of part of the last couple of lessons. And the question is this, abortion should not happen. Okay, it's a statement. Um, discuss this statement showing more than one point of view. You must refer to religion and belief in your answer. So what I'd like you to do, and I've got a potential structure, but you don't have to use it, is do a paragraph for, a paragraph against, uh, a third paragraph uh, about what others might think, and on balance, what do you think and why? Uh, so you need Bible quotes, you need to explain those quotes, remember, there you go, have a look at those in case you need to write anything down. So the idea is then that you go through that and you write a chunky pa uh, paragraph, half a page, three quarters of a page, page, depending what you're able to, give yourself 12 minutes or so to do this, uh, and then please get everything sent through to your teachers. So come back to me when you're done.
Okay, so what we've done then is we've looked really at our objective today. And you've reached now an evaluative judgment about whether you think abortion could be acceptable or not. Um, I'm going to leave it there. So thanks very much for your time. Take care of yourself. Stay safe. Wash hands. God bless you. And I'll be seeing you soon.